Diversity. Diversity is their justification for bigotry, Chris. They say that if Harvard did not allow for race and admissions, that Asians would make up too high a percentage of Harvard University. And their own study said that if they uh, admitted students only based on merit, Harvard would make up 43% of the university and said they make up 20% or less. So really what's happening here is you have a university that is obsessed with race, that is obsessed with this so-called racial balance of their university, so much so that they're willing to explicitly discriminate against a minority, Asian Americans, in order to ensure that their, uh, their halls don't get too Asian. Wow. Well, as you know, the Democrat Party has a long history of racism. And some Democrat socialists are calling for Justice Clarence Thomas to remove himself from um, cases, these cases. They say it's because he sits on an advisory board for the National Association of Scholars. But if any conservative suggested that a, that a, a black man's opinion should not be counted, they would be called a racist. Aren't these left-wingers also racists for their suggestion? No, absolutely. I mean, this is what I talk about in my book, An Inconvenient Minority. Uh, you're only a minority, and you only, until you, until you start to espouse opinions that are too contrary to what the progressive left wants, uh, wants you to espouse. If a black man like Clarence Thomas says, you know, I actually am really grateful for this country, and I don't believe that people like me need a handout by the government or by Harvard University to be able to achieve at the highest level, then the progressive left says, Oh man, you guys are just Uncle Toms. We need to exclude your opinion. So you're until you espouse the wrong minority opinions, and then sayonara. Yeah, sayonara. Well, uh, Biden blatantly said he's going to be filling the next Supreme Court vacancy uh, with two criteria. It needed to be the person needs to be black, and the person needs to be a woman. Now, if it's not okay for anybody in our country. Look, uh, white men need only apply. Then why is it okay for a leftist to say that only black women need apply? Both of those declarations equally racist? Exactly. And you know what? You know what's so ironic about this? The most qualified candidate on the progressive left right now, arguably, is an Asian man named Sri Sivarnasan, who is the chief justice of the D.C. Court of Appeals. But Biden, by saying that he's only going to nominate a black woman, is actually excluding a highly qualified, highly qualified minority candidates who even believe the way that he does on these issues. So this is just astoundingly um, despicable. Um, and it actually shows, by the way, Asian Americans' inconvenient place in the left's racial hierarchy. You know why uh, Biden specifically said black women? Because they don't want to admit uh, the wrong kind of minority, Asian Americans, who have grown too successful in this nation to be considered a victimized, oppressed class by the left anymore. Wow, that's, that's profound. Uh, last thing, George W. Bush famously allowed black students in Washington, D.C. to have school choice. He rescued them from these failing left-wing dominated schools. Fast forward to Resident Barack Hussein Obama, he put those black and brown kids back into failing schools to placate teachers unions and gov ed apparatchiks. Can a case be made that the current government education system that denies parental school choice is actually a racist system? I think a case could be made. Um, you know, school choice is something that black Americans always supported. In fact, over 60 percent of black Americans support school choice, and this is National School Choice Week. And so what the government is basically saying, what Biden say is saying by saying, no, you must go into your public school system, even if that public school system is failing, is that they're basically wiping out a generation of minority children and minority achievement in this country. You know, for the past 40 years, Chris, the racial achievement gap in this country in education has not decreased. That means that black students are still doing just as poorly on the tests as they were 40 years ago, even though we spent three times as much money on them adjusted for inflation over the past 40 years. So what's crazy about this is that 
the Biden administration's proposal to denigrate school choice is just going to further the adherence of this racial achievement gap, which is just going to further this leftist mm -hmm. identity politics that we cannot have anymore in this country. It's the definition of insanity. Keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. We keep on investing in a failed government run education system. We're going to continue to fail our kids. I'm sorry. I don't want to fail our kids anymore. Only the Democrat Socialist Party does. Kenny Chu, thank you very much. Appreciate it.